Hi, I'm Kiwi, that there is Bear, and collectively we're known as Oshali Japan. Together we're traveling around Japan full time in our self converted camper van, and in our most recent video adventures, we've been touring the country's northernmost prefecture, Hokkaido. Today, we're discovering more about its indigenous peoples with a visit to Lake Akan's Ainu village. Hello. 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 We are filming from the bank. So after our epic hike yesterday, mm -hmm. we have been met with some unfortunate weather. Today's plan is to go to the indigenous Ainu village here in Lake Akan, but we have been stuck in the rain in our van. And to be honest, we have got very, very hungry. Yeah. So before we go and give you a tour of the village, we are going to go and get something to eat, I think. Can you get sugar? Hi, say no. Let's, Let's go. Eat. We came to Maruki Bune, which means, I don't know. So, Bune in Japanese means boat, right? Boat, yeah. And Maru is circle. So, like hand carved boat. Yep. So, we've ordered the Jomon curry. So, Jomon is like the original Japanese boat, yeah. right? And inside it has the Ezo deer meat. And um, I ordered Yase Dong, which means wild Dong. So in all of the time that we have spent in Hokkaido, we have never had soup curry. I've always wanted to try it. I've never had it ever. So to have it in Ainu Kotan with some traditional ingredients is pretty exciting. <laughs> and we ordered the fish thing we can finally eat here. <laughs> and the shop itself is pretty cute. Right behind me, there is that big carving of a fish. So Ainu culture is very centered around animals and also wood carvings so in this area I expect to see a lot of wood creatures Can't wait to eat oh. Oh. So, so cold Yeah, it's frozen So she said eat before we melt It thaws Yeah, do that Do you like That's so weird, I've never had like frozen fish <laughs> Yeah It's delicious but it's kind of like crunchy on the outside mm -hmm. and then very very soft because it melts like instantly in your mouth because it's so thinly cut. Your first time eating Louis Bé. Louis Bé. First time. Mm. Like crunchy right almost. Crunchy but so soft in the middle. Melt. Like literal melt. Yeah. <laughs> Something that's very prevalent in Hokkaido cuisine is like gamey kind of food, frozen stuff. The fish is also frozen in autumn and then eaten frozen. So we had our salmon sticks, now we have the real deal Ainu cuisine yeah. of Louis Bé, frozen fish, thinly sliced. Mm. So it's the main event. Main event. Ooh. Quite a lot. Right, tomato -y kind of soup curry and... So this is deer meat thing. So I expect it to be quite strong. Have you ever eaten it before? No. <laughs> yeah, yes. I just... Mmm. Meaty. It's like oh. beef. Not like a gamey kind of taste. Just tasty. That's all. <laughs> Chewy. Can you taste it? So, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I can't eat it. What is this? And this is like miso and egg. It's yeah. like oyakodon. I was gonna say it sort of looks a bit like it. Yeah, yeah. Just like that. Oh. It smells really good. Really? Wow. Mm. There really is no strong taste to it. And it's not no. like rubbery chewy. It's like... Mm. Nice chewy. Yeah. I don't yeah. know how to explain that. And, of course. I'm super excited about this. I got like potato, I got everything. Like Hokkaido yeah. special. And deer meat. Mm -hmm. Chunky. Value for money. Chunks. It just melts. Yeah, it's because like it's uh, stewed. Yeah, it's such stewed, a different right. experience. The rice. <laughs> Ow. That's bloody old shit. <laughs> Potato is <laughs> fine. Don't you dare eat my potato. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is like, ah, uh, this is tomato. Yeah. Richa soup. Mm. Isn't it ah. good? Mo but not spicy at all, actually. Did you eat some of the meat? Yeah, yaraka. <laughs> you like always didn't even think about it. <laughs> yaraka chewy. Mm. 
I would say it's more like when you stew beef for a long time, it's like very tender. Warm on me, So deer is obviously a very healthy species. Mm. <laughs> I think this is Gyojan Ninnikun from like around Hokkaido. Mm. Oh. So I think coming here we kind of get a nice variety of like Hokkaido's own. So we have the ninniku, we have the ezo deer, and also this potato which I am super <laughs> curious about. Look at it, look at it. Kawaii. First time potato in Hokkaido. I don't know how we have been in Hokkaido for like a month and a half or something now and not eaten any potato. <laughs> It's really nicely fried. That's really good. Tube curry might be one of my new favorite meals. <laughs> Can I eat some? <laughs> You've got your eye on it. I'll let you. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. oh. By far, the best soup curry I have ever had. <laughs> yeah. This shop is just in front of the entrance gate. So should we just See the gate. Okay. When we were walking up here, we were like, don't look, don't look at anything, don't look at anything. We basically went straight to the restaurant and now we're gonna see what the town actually looks like. Ayy. Kotan. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, eh? Oh, eh? Just, eh? Oh, eh? <laughs> Did no one else see that? <laughs> As I was saying, the Ainu have strong links to uh, animals. They believe that animals and most things in nature are gods or kamui. I kind of feel like we've been blessed by the deer god today, don't you? <laughs> yeah, say thank you. Mm. 300 meters. It is really small. I kind of, I don't know, from pictures I expected it to look almost like Disneyland scale. <gasps> Pika! Oh my god, I saw one finally! <laughs> How long must that take to make? Wolf! Oh. Oh. So they have a theatre here and part of the amazing thing about Ainu culture is that there is no written word so all of their stories, all of their tales are told by dance and vocally so the theatre, they show the traditional dance So they are showing like the history of the wolf <laughs> Can you explain what you just bought? So I got I need traditional instrument mukri. Hi. So it is made with bamboo and this is the traditional one, right? Yeah. So it comes with a string. So originally it was played with your mouth and your hand, so you needed two hands. Uh, they've modernized it to use just one hand without the string and we want to be able to play it like this the traditional way so the shop owner kindly showed us how to do it and we're gonna try our best to play some nice music for you so we are back to try and play our instrument uh we hold on like that music 
Oh! <sighs> yes! Just wait. Five more videos time, I'm gonna be a pro at this. Oh yeah! No copyright. <laughs> like, I'm scared of getting hit. I'm, I'm still perfecting my technique, okay? Mine. Okay, it's good. They say you can't do it one time. Wow! <laughs> I mean, at least try. <laughs> the concentration is real. Umai na, you. Oh! Oh! Eh? The guy said that the bamboo does not break. It's made with bamboo. Bamboo is super strong. So if the thread breaks, we have thread. It's fine. You can. Why are the moto iman? I know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Makuri Master. Muzi wa. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 yes. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> we'll leave it to the experts. And on that note, I hope you've enjoyed a rather rainy day out at Ainu Kotan. It was A success, I believe. Well, it might have been a little bit more touristy than the two of us were expecting. We have enjoyed some traditional food and some traditional crafts. Yeah, it And the rain has proved that any time is Ainu time. Let's go to the next one. Hi, Seno, Jane.